I think one player you've got to talk about is Karen Matoma. I think the way he, how threatening he looks as, a, as one of, he's got to be one. Of, I think he's one of the best wingers in the league already. Just to... Deserby hinted that him and Matoma would be hanging around, so maybe Brighton can continue to build this phenomenal project. And at... I think if they win their only game in hand against Newcastle, they'll be four points behind. So is catching Newcastle realistic? Do you think, Miles? 皆さんこんにちは。本当にパート1からパート6、チェルシー戦の三笘選手を評価する現地のサポーターの動画にたくさんの高評価、そしてたくさんご視聴いただきありがとうございます。こちらは、えー、と約束通りのパート6の動画になります。えー、また、350ライクでパート7の動画もアップロードしますので、たくさんの高評価をよろしくお願いいたします。今回の動画に関しては、アストンビラー、マンチェスターユナイテッドとマンチェスターシティの現地のサポーターがそのブライトンのチームトップ4で終われる可能性について語る動画とあとはもちろん三笘選手についても、えー、三笘選手を評価する動画になります、えー、ただしその動画を見せる前に、えー、まずはそのスコア予想ランキングを見ていきたいと思います、えー、こちらになります今現在、まあ、HRK さんが12ポイントで1位となっているんですけどまだまだ6月までは試合続きますのでこれからも新しくこのゲームに参加する方でもまだまだ1位になる可能性は十分にあると思います。4点差以上のスコア予想を当てた方には2ポイントとしてこのスコア予想にカウントしますし、6月に1位になった方にはユニフォームをプレゼントします。では今回訳した動画の一番最後には、まあ、そのトップ4争いするためにはまあニューキャッスル、ニューキャッスルがおそらく今現在4位になっているので、彼らの、えー、と順位表であったり、彼らの今後の日程であったり、あとは今の順位を、えー、についても解説していきたいと思いますので、一番最後まで見ていただければと思います。では、今回訳した動画はこちらになります。And if it wasn't for Kepa, then it, it could have been a lot worse, really. It's, it's outstanding. I don't know what more we can say about Brighton because it just seems like it just rinse and repeat that they, they bring in a player that we've probably never heard of. Yeah. He shines for five games, and then all of a sudden, he's a world class footballer worth 80 million. So they've probably got another one on their hands now. I think the only downside for Brighton at the moment is it's, it's been quite clear that Alexis McAllister will leave in the summer. Him and his agent have come out, spoken openly about that. But De Zerbi hinted that him and Matoma would be hanging around. So maybe Brighton can continue to build this phenomenal project. And actually, you asked me about Villa's hopes for top four. I quietly think Brighton might be the favourites to take that fourth spot now. I, th I think it's more between them and Newcastle than anyone else because they've got two games in hand. And I know games in hand don't mean points on the board, and that's what you'd want at this stage of the season. But my、yeah. word, they, they, they just look phenomenal. I don't really know how you stop Brighton. I think the way that Roberto De Zerbi not only is integrated into this team, which was, you know, Graham Potter's, it was Graham Potter's to the core. He kind of not just did that, but put his twist on it as well. And we said that at the time, that appointment was a very positive one from Brighton because his reputation is as, as a very attacking、um, manager. And he's brought that approach to a Brighton team that was always traditionally struggling to score. Again, a very Graham Potter thing. But De Zerbi has made it. Effortless, hasn't he, Dave? It's the way that Brighton score goals and create goals and the intensity they bring to every single game is Roberto De Zerbi's hallmark, isn't it? What a manager and what a style of football he's imposed on this team. Yeah, and I think obviously you just have a look at the amount of chances they create per game are ridiculous. I don't even understand how Chelsea will want to look in this game because the amount of chances that Brighton had in the first 15, 20 minutes was, was just frankly insane.、Um, but I think one player you've got to talk about is Karen Matoma. I think the way he's adapted to this team、um, has been you know, nothing short of outstanding and just how. Threatening he looks as, a, as one of he's got to be one. Of, I think he's one of the best wingers in the league already, just how well he's actually playing.、Mm -hmm. Um, and he's been relied upon as a as a match winner, and that's exactly what he is at the minute. He's creating chances, he's obviously scoring goals. It sounds like Miles has already said it, it's a bit ridiculous the, the way that a lot of their players are coming through, and they are looking like potential world class players. And you've got really. Obviously, give all the credit to the scouting team, the way obviously they're bringing these players in, even against a lot of the, the big teams. And the worrying thing for me, actually, as well, I actually quite fear playing Brighton. And United have got Brighton in, in, the, in the semi final, they've then got them、um, in the league as well. They're just a team that you hate coming up against because you know you're going to get a hell of a game. Yeah. I think they're the only team I look at in Man City's running and go, 
they could probably cause City some problems. Literally the only game. So mm. I think a lot of teams are going to struggle against them still with whatever's left. But I mean, I think if they win their only game in hand against Newcastle, they'll be four points behind. So is catching Newcastle realistic, do you think, Miles? Yeah, I think it could be. It depends. Newcastle is such a funny team to to analyse because you keep waiting for them to drop off. And although they, they obviously will be incredibly disappointed with the result at the weekend, they did win five games in a row before that. Mm. So... Do we expect Newcastle to maintain the the form they've been on to the end of the season, or does their fixture list kind of throw up a few spanners? It's going to be so tight, but I, I think Brighton definitely can. こちらがパート6の動画になりました。また350ライクでパート7の動画もアップロードしますので、たくさんの高評価をよろしくお願いいたします。えー、そして動画の始めの方にも話したように、こちらがニューキャッスルの今後の日程になるんですけれども。えー、次節が4月の23日にトッテナムとの対戦を控えています。こちらはホームの、えー、試合になりますので、えー、5位対、えー、4位の、えー、対戦となるので、えー、ブライトにとっては、まあ、ここでは引き分けることが、えー、理想的なのではないかと思います。そしてその次にはエバートン、えー、のアウェイの試合を控えています。こちらは、えー、その5日後になります。4月の28日。そしてその2日後には、えー、サウサンプトンの、えー、試合を控えています。タイのチームとの対戦になるので、ニューキャッスルはこの2戦でポイントを落とすことは難しいと思うんですけども、確かあのサウサンプトンは、えー、ニューキャッスルとのダービーになると思うので、サウサンプトンに期待していきたいと思います。で、その5月の8日にはアーセナルとの対戦があります。首位、チーム相手との対戦があります。で、またその次の週にはリーズユナイテッド、アウェイの試合となります。こちらが今現在のプレミアリーグの順位表になるんですけども、先ほども話したようにニューカッスルは今現在4位で56ポイントを獲得しています。それに対してブライトンは今49ポイントなんですけども、ニューカッスルに比べたら1試合少ないです。動画でもあったように、ブライトンは残っている試合の一つがニューカッスルとの試合になるので、そこでしっかりと勝ち点3を獲得すれば、勝ち点52まで上がって、4点差までニューキャッスルとの差を縮めることができます。皆さんは今、ニューキャッスルの今後の日程を見て、どのように思いましたかまだブライトンにはトップ4に終わる可能性は十分にあると思いますかそれともまあ難しいと思いますかこの下のコメント欄に意見を教えていただければと思います。では今回の動画はここまでになりますが、いつも通りチャンネル登録と高評価よろしくお願いいたします。毎日のように新しいコンテンツをアップロードしますので、通知をオンにしていただければ、その新しいコンテンツを見逃すことはないです。